What's up guys, this is the Rofeman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round up where we left off, we are engaging one of the last remaining Prussian stacks in my territory. And they looked interesting enough for so to actually fight them and I'm probably just going to form a line and advance up in good order in one back. And yes, I think this will be, it's very close to, the end of my campaign grinding down the Prussians. Finally, they are soon going to be entirely defeated, which is nice. Some freedom, I think, because I think everyone has, is fed up of me just fighting the Prussians over and over and over again. So I want to make a, put a grand battery over here. Two units of howitzers somewhere a bit more central. Deploy some units of well, yeah, it's just yeah, guards and a couple of infantry units, probably a bit of the weaker ones. Their job is to guard the guns. Everyone else, you all advance in good order. I think I think that's going to be the plan. Firstly, quick line. I actually might get one of my howitzers to preemptively target some of these dug in line infantry units. Be lovely if I can snipe their general's bodyguard. So everyone halt, form square. Yeah, they've all wheeled off. I'm not sure if they're within range of that foot line infantry unit. It is, but they're probably going to be shooting to the back of their own general. Mortars. Mortars and troops in square formation. It's not a good thing. Although it sounds like it was on my cavalry. Oh no, that was my guys firing. Good, that's the general done, so go in and hit their light horse. It's still only of Western, Western European mercenaries, so let's start to move these guys up to scout the right flank. Knock out the hussars. If I do that, they'll stop, they'll not shoot my my own, um... Actually, if I just do that... Yeah, we are advancing up into their infantry, but that's what we've got to do. There you go, men. You didn't get the first volley off, but by God, you will get the last. Fire! 
Oh. Pfft. Yeah, fair enough, his ours. So they're engaging that up on the flank, maybe. Form the flank company into square. These ours have held on a lot longer than I thought they would. Look pretty good too. The little busbies on. Bayonet charge that final formation. Let's gun my horses through there. Let's turn off my howitzers. Well, actually, not well, turn them off, but make them shoot a different target. Swiss Guard. Which look brilliant. Let's retarget my howitzers. So they're hitting units on the flank, so let's do this. Winning? You won't be winning for long, you damn swine! Make my hearts just hit this unit of mercenaries, but they're probably going to rout before that becomes important. But well, actually, this is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Let's take one of my cavalry units. Actually, to be honest, let's take both of my cavalry units and send them after. Uh, take one of them after the Swiss Guard. The other can go for this unit of line infantry just to make sure we get them. The mercenaries should die fairly quickly to my line infantry. is to hit oh, round shot it is chase them down sometimes you might actually you might actually be able to catch them up May as well continue. I don't know if I'll actually... If this unit, if this army will be destroyed or not. So I may as well chase them down. F 
Four men left. Two, it's just you two. So let's take you guys away. Get my cavalry involved. That unit can can route, that's fair enough. But this unit of mercenaries, you're mine. Lovely jubbly. That's them knocked out. Yeah, actually who we're at, who we are at war with still after we've fought the Prussians. Because right now, off the top of my head, I can just think of the Italians. Ah, just just too far. Because we're not bothered with the Russians. Still a piece of the Swedes. Let's take the bears of bones of this army and go hit the army at the mines. Just to knock them out. Oh. Let's take these guys back to Berlin. They've now gone within range of this army here. Just to make sure we got them. Sir. Sir. Your orders? Yes, sir. Good, you're replenishing, you're replenishing, you're. Okay, I need to send... Oh, do I need to do any amphibious... Well, I need to knock out Sardinia. That's going to suck. Because that's going to be a big old... Big old battle, that is going to be. Because we're taking Gdansk. Got Breslau. Sieging Dresden... See, yeah, Gdansk is one of the only ones left standing. Breslau's being fixed. Yeah, the next big baddie is Spain and Savoy. So I'm going to send one of these in and hit Milan. One in, hit Venice. This army, when it's replenished, is going to go up and hit Rome. Can it, oh, I can recruit regular well, European line infantry, which is good. So I'm going to get one cavalry. Let's get a regiment of force. Two units of line. And I'm going to move them, start moving them out and just start churning out line. A to form a garrison and B to send them down and start taking out like these chaps here. At some point I'd have to turn on you, France. I'm sorry. Sir. Oh, you run away like a little... Swine. Well, you're still here waiting for the Marathas to move in. Then at some point, I need to send some stacks up here because Spain has a lot of troops up here. Once I've knocked out, once I've knocked out Spain in the continent and knocked out the Prussians here, then I'll be in a good position to do that. And I have no reason to have universities anymore because I have researched everything. So let's burn them all down. You're still moving on to here. And then, which I almost forgot. Okay. I am tempted to fall back and do this properly because last time I felt really dodgy fighting that battle so I want to fall back, replenish and move up properly that's what I want to do I mean this guy's moved up and taken Guatemala which seems like it shouldn't be a problem sweet, let's hit end turn and let's see who goes where Right, this is all the <laughs> all the recruitment from those armies in the Middle East. All so many men they need to be dragged in from they need to be dragged in from all different parts of the world. Yeah, see the French can still do something. It's just a question of uh what? So they're gonna pick up stack and sail off where? Ah, I am defending from the garrison of Dresden. Let's do this. 
Yeah, I'm going to need to really carefully consider where my where I focus my effort because to be honest, I'll Iceland just to get rid of that Spanish boil just sat back there because that could be super frustrating. So if we can clear them up, clear up the Mediterranean islands, knock out Sardinia, Corsica, the Knights of Saint John. And this is kind of why I think it would be fun to not, to not, um, to wait until I've got my forces ready before attacking India, because then I'd have about 20, 25 stacks, just, like, you know, I will land on every, on the coast, every, every city you have, and I will attack them all at the same time. So you pick what you want to avoid. So I did, so they do have howitzers and I know I should deploy backwards, but to be honest, I'm tempted to just do something like this. Well, actually it's the terrain here that's stopping me, so I can deploy like that. Eh. Let's give everyone spikes. Not much point giving people uh, uh, barricades or um, trench works. It never seems to really do much. There you go, and you're here. And you and you, my horse guard artillery. Oh wow, did not expect them to deploy so close. You all, shrapnel, shrapnel, quick climb. I expected them to be deployed out. Oh man, this is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that, that was a shock. I did not expect to see all of those Prussians deployed. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll sit here. Then you'll just see a line like appear like usual, but but no. So who are you? Just cavalry. It's just <laughs> holy moly. Guards. So you all deploy in square formation behind your spikes. You deploy stakes behind the line. <laughs> this is just this is just stupid. You're gonna charge into a square behind spikes. You're all dead. Like, die, 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 die. Same with you, you're about to do the exact same thing. Frycourt Cavalry, Light Infantry Cavalry. Start dropping some quick lime on the remaining units that are actually still around. Riflemen scouts, breech loaders. So these are the advanced light infantry. So let's get onto line again. Attacking some of these units that are still coming out of the city. But it's that for opening salvo that got me. 
I was like, oh no, that's why I was desperate to run around and make sure I gave everyone the right ammunition types and all that sort of thing. More riflemen scouts. Jesus. Jesus H. So this is the thing. So the AI late game, they've got good troops, like they're getting these militia militia troops and whatnot, but they're just They are getting Oof. They're having a terrible, terrible time. Sorry, it's my iPad binging away in the background. Yeah, and that's the garrison line, just got a nice bit of quick line dropped on top of it. That's everyone, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna end it there. That was so complete. I don't think there was a there's a point to that was that was beautiful in a horrific way. Look at that. Oh god. Yep, yeah, that's the end of you. You're gonna do some raiding, because you're a little scamp. As are you. Ah, oh, so, it can be so frustrating at times. So maybe if I send some stacks from France to, to Iceland and then send them down to Morocco to help engage against the Marathas, then maybe send them through the Med, up through the Black Sea. Ooh. The Ottomans have failed against a little rebellion there. Your world is about to be rocked, Savoy. You have no idea what's coming. And the Poles are keeping the Russians at bay. <laughs> dear, oh dear. It could also be worth knocking out Norway, because it would stop a... You know, it'd get rid of a, a minor nation from clogging up the end turn phase a bit much. Or a bit more, at least. So here come the Russians. Don't spread your silly religion over here. We're Protestants. Get out of the way. That's kind of the good, the, the main good thing about attacking uh, former Prussian territories. They've gone to the effort of it for me. Opportunity to intercept. Just bash them with an oil resolve. <laughs> really, I should have probably have retreated because I've lost troops. I've lost, like, units now. Yeah, carry on blockading away, Spain. I do not care. <laughs> There's no research to steal, you damn fool. Yeah, so there go the Swedes. The Swedes are getting the war with the Russians? Probably. Poor old Norway. That's the rebels. Wait a minute. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too. Cheer up. You're happy now, I've got rid of your university. Now you've stopped learning. Magdeburg. So let's take you and hit them. Repair. Replenish and probably plonk you here. Let's fix you. Let's replenish you and probably send you out. Up threat a bit. Same with you, send you up threat. So no, you are very weak actually. I'm going to send you to knock out this stack. Can you do it? Oh, you're a bit too sh you're a bit short. Yes. 
Just making sure he's not blocked me in. We make sure he's not he's not blocked my route. So that's four going through the centre. <laughs> okay, so that's four. Of, yeah, I've got four coming down here through the centre. I've got three to the yeah. That's plenty to take out Italy. So you are probably going to go here. Yeah, you're being, you're recruiting, or you're being recruited. Sorry. You can motor down and knock out this chap. Glorious victory. And you will be one of the armies I send to go knock out Spanish. Could take you out as well. Yeah, you will be as well. But let's. Let's keep some line. Ooh, rifle and scouts. Just recruit a bunch of line. A, just to stay as a garrison, and B, just to make them a bit more chill. Yeah, raiding around in Morocco. That's the Polish. So I might send you guys. Miss Vienna garrison, if I move you out, you're still super unhappy. Okay, so Just make sure everyone's on metal roads, because right now I'm moving lots of troops. you can probably move up and take them as you're friendly we're well, not, not a pirate this army as it runs down here they'll go take Sophia I want you to still be in place you're just going to need to declare on the Ottomans again eventually I would rather have the Persians running around doing the raiding rather than the uh, the Marathas. Let's go send you up there to take out Mosul. Just to auto resolve that. Oh, oh, why do they not die? Actually, let's build a church school. You can start getting missionaries and run them around. Chase them down. Then move and take Azerbaijan. Don't quite no. No, oh, these are still. These are troops that are trying to get to their armies. Raids in Iraq. So I know I've kind of left this army exposed, but to be honest, they're, they're fine. I could just generate a new fresh stack out of these. Artillery unit. Four units of infantry. Let's do that. That. I can move them back. Good. Construction. Drill school. Holding this factory to a great arsenal. Keep going with economic upgrades. So Bavaria. And Rhineland. And Budapest. Cool. Fleet arrives. So you are here to bring war to the Marathas. They're very nicely just... Ah, there we go. But which one's their main port? Probably you. 
Crewmen, lot of stuff in Naples, Austria, Bavaria, Gibraltar, Egypt. So much recruitment. So you're almost done. So like I said, when these are done, I'm going to move them up, lay siege to Rome. You're going to lay siege to Naples. You're going to hit Milan. I may as well start. Whoa! Okay, no. Come back. <laughs> You're going to withdraw. If they... <laughs> That is going to be a tough nut to crack. Let it start moving in. Troops from this direction, although... Could be super cheeky. And do this. Because if I can knock, if I can take the city, then I'll knock out that stack without ever needing to fight it. And then I can also start to commit this another other stack to go and hit Genoa. The workers are rioting in Württemberg. But I've sorted that out. They're on strike in Flanders. Not anymore, you're not. And path blocked here. Sorted. Then let's just do some upgrading. Cool. Because one of these troops, when they're ready, they're probably going to go up there and take Norway. Sweet. No research needed, because everything is done. Cool. I think I'm going to hit so it's the end of the part, but I'm going to hit end turn to see what uh, what happens. Maintain siege of Guatemala. Yeah, the infantry is still on the move. <laughs> so much infantry. Oh, God. Got to be done, though. Should really be blockading Genoa, but... Okay, so where are you going to sail them to? Oh, don't do this to me, France. I'm going to decline the attack. Ah! So I was... So that's happened before with Genoa, and Genoa's come in sneakily stolen one of my territories. So I was wondering if... Why? Why? Why is this 50-50? Look at it! They've got 84 blokes on horses, and I've got 2,500 men! Um, Sat down by that French territory... So when I declare war on them, well not even when I declare war on them, so then I can just sweep them up. Why has government been instituted at all? Formed the dictates of reason and justice without constraint. Sir Alexander Hamilton. Um, but yes, that's going to be my plan. And that stack's going to stay next to that territory the French stolen from me. I attack. If the French lost and they were repelled, then that would leave it open for me. I'm not even going to deploy most of my troops. And then just... Just do this, because... What else can happen? Not even form square, because they've got so few men. See, this is the it's moments of this that make Empire stupid. Is because it's gone, oh, you know what? There's a 50 50 chance of things going wrong here. And you're like, is there. Is there really? Is there really? And you're like, no, there isn't. <laughs> Remember. Weekend, we had to just you know toss of a coin. <laughs> See, I lost ten men. That's even when my own general charged through his own infantry. But Dresden is now mine. Yeah, you better run. I think if we can knock out, knock out the Italian states, or knock out Italy, then start doing some island hopping. Cause look at all these pressures. <laughs> They got five gentlemen there, like they got nowhere to go. <laughs> Cause I've got no universities to rob from. Ooh. 
Ooh, Marath and Naval fight. I'm not going to intercept. <laughs> not in the mood for a naval fight at the minute. I'm just going to. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> you know they're going to get me for that. Oh no, they don't want to fight either. But just, I'm just going to keep blockading their port. Oh no, don't take, don't take that region back. Obviously, the Ottomans are running around, hoovering up as much information as they can. Trade agreement, no. You take your destitute lands. <gasps> Savoyard rebels. What? Are you really attacking me? Really? Oh, it's the militia unit. Eh, auto resolve. Disaster. <laughs> I was wondering what they were doing. I was like, why are they attacking? Why are they attacking one of my armies? No, it's the reinforcements. I get it. Okay, so now, effectively, we've got the Cold War. <laughs> we've drawn a line down the down the middle of Europe. We've got NATO all set up. We've got a couple of countries in the Balkans that aren't quite NATO yet. We've got a friendly Swede at the front, to the north. Although we're going to finish the Germans off first. Well, what I'll probably do in Sardinia is land a couple of stacks and just assault the territory straight away so I don't have to mess around with, you know, make sure I finish off this army, I finish off this army, I finish off this army. Ooh, great battle. But I am going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, how many are we against? No. No. Nah. 3,000 through 3,500. Meh, we can do that. But yes, we've got a timer. I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. To fight the Spanish for a change, rather than the Prussians. <laughs>